Welcome to a lesson with Dr. Powell. Let's take a look at how we can work backwards with transformations of graphs. Suppose, for instance, that we know we're going to be dealing with the transformation of y equals square root of x, which originally looks like this. And suppose that we know which transformations we want. And our question is, what is the resulting formula? So what is the resulting formula after the transformation? So that's what we'll be looking at. So let's suppose, for instance, that um, we know what the horizontal transformations are. And they are, maybe we have shift one to the right. And then maybe we have um, compress by a factor of two. So in other words, like dividing by two or something to all the X values. And in the vertical, we know that um, maybe we reflect and then we shift down by two. Okay, what is this resulting formula gonna be? So let's just kind of think about things. The vertical one, remember how we see the vertical? vertical? It's exactly um, in the order that we see it. Reflections like multiplication by negative one, so we can think we start from the square root and working outwards from the square root is exactly what's, what's written here. Multiplying by negative one, and then down two is minusing two. So just from the vertical transformations, you should be able to get a lot. It's exactly like it looks, starting from the square root, going from here to here, minus one times, and then a minus two. Now for the horizontal, we have to think whatever we put inside here, whatever it is, let's just think backwards. First, we shift one to the right. That means all your X values are added by one. You've added one to your X values. Then you get something else. And then you're going to be dividing by two. And then in the end, you get X. So let's just work backwards to these arrows. So working backwards, backwards from dividing by two would be having two X. Then back here, see how we added one to get two X. So maybe we would have had minus one so that when we add by it, it goes away. So then we know what goes here. It's two X minus one and we are completely done. Let's look at another example. Let's suppose that we have um, a transformation of Y equals one over X. And we know that horizontally, we have um, reflected and then we shift to the left by three. Maybe vertically, we know that we stretch by five and then maybe we shift down one. All right. So what would this look like? Well, let's look at the vertical and thinking of that as being like the Y, what's done to it. It's exactly like what it says in that order. First stretch by five, so five times, then shift down one, minus one. Okay, we're almost done. Now we just gotta go in here. So we have to think backwards for this. So we think whatever goes in here, this, what's done to it is, just what's here. So reflected means we multiply it by negative one. So we had to multiply by negative one to get something. Then whatever we get, we shift left three. That means like we subtract three, subtract three. And so then we end up getting X. So we have to work backwards. So to undo my subtraction by three, we have X plus three. Then to undo multiplication by negative one, we have negative X minus three. So in the end, we should just have negative X minus three, and we are successful at working backwards. Thanks for watching.